Greetings and salutations from Pandora, the Eclectic, also known as Pandora the Eclectic One, which, if you want to check that out, it will be down in the description box below. So, and let's get on with what I wanted to talk about. What? Huh? As you can tell, this uh, video is, well, kind of a pun in of itself. I decided, are, are you wondering why I decided to uh, go with uh, Fred Phelps and my new improved game of uh, Fortune Cookie Scramble? Which we say for later. Huh? After I discuss him, or, you know, discuss Fred Phelps, makes three. Uh, why did I decide to do a book, a uh, title of a band book? Well, as you know, I think it'd be something funny, you know. He teach Fred Phelps is anti-gay. Uh, Tango. And Tango Makes Three is a book that's supposed to be about two penguins and they're, you know, possibly, you know, same-sex penguins in a, a gay relationship. I don't know how anyone can tell, no offense. Seriously, no offense at all. I don't think you can tell the penguin from the other penguins, so for all we know, it could be a straight relationship, and if it is, who cares? And if it isn't, who cares? But you know, other than the people who are anti-gay, eh, they would, but anyways, um, uh, yeah, I've been watching all these videos, including Amazing Atheist, um, uh, of course, the first original one was Mr. Repsion's video about the, you know, about him being dead and how to handle it and all it, you know, PC, a how to be nice, his videos as we should have, and I agree with, in some way. And basically, I guess he found like a Facebook page that that is about that kind of thing. Thing, um, I don't know if it exists. I'll probably do a video to find out if it does. Doesn't, um, it's gonna be making fun of Mr. Ripsion tonight, huh? But, anyways, this is my personal thought. Frankly, yeah, I'm kind of happy he's dead. It's kind of something weird to say out of the mouth of a Westerner, since a lot of times, uh, we Westerners are now ones who <laughs> laugh in the face of death. Uh, I think it's a big thing to say, die, in this country. But, you know, I also think, hey, we're human beings, and, heck, I'm just bringing a breath of a sigh, a relief that another bigot is no longer in this world, or no longer part of this world. Well, Depending on whether he's going to be cremated, or, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. He's going to be cremated, he'll just go up into the sky, wouldn't he? But he's, some of his, you know, particles will. So, I guess when you're looking up at the sky, you'll have to start seeing Fred Phelps up there, huh? Not really. But, um, uh, yeah, I agree. You shouldn't make a mockery out of his death. Like, don't go protesting it. Though, it is fun to make videos and joke about it. I find some funny pictures on the internet. That won't say by whom, but I will have to say I'm glad that I'm not happy that he died, like yes. Yeah, you know, yes. Like did he indeed you know, that kind of thing. No. But I'm kind of glad in a way that that's one more step getting away from bigotry. So, you know, or, you know, one less 
bigoted person out there because, well, unfortunately, there's a whole lot of these people running around, and do I hate them? No, but I'm getting a little sick and tired of them. Okay. So sick and tired of them, I want them to die? No. Absolutely not. Okay. I, I'm, I know I'm running into circles here, but, you know, I'm just breathing a breath. A sigh of relief that, hey, things are, I get better, but, you know, now, okay, on the side of it all, the protesting of his death, I find disgusting, because, frankly, he's dead. Dead. No longer moving, no longer talking, no longer in power. Just sit back and relax. Doing exactly what he'd want, anyways, which is be anti Fred. I mean, in a way, it's almost poetic justice, or as some people would say, karma, but I still feel like he's dead, people. Dead. He's no longer able to cause any problems for you or for me. I think this is where we have to take a little bit of a, a lesson from George Takei, if you. Probably everyone's seen that quote. If you haven't, just type in George Decay. Okay. So G E O R G E space Decay T A K E I Decay. Okay. And I think. If he could take the high road and not be anti, you know, pro, or whatever, I don't know. Be happy that he's, you know, that is able to forgive him. Because, my understanding, he's gay. But, I don't know. I don't know if George Takei is or not. But, if George Takei and some people who are at least... Trying to take the high road, I understand their point of taking it as well, just like Mason Atheist did. I, I would take it as well, mostly because it's like, hey, he's dead. One less person to vote no on gay marriage for no apparent reason. And one more win for the LGBT, but. I'll have to say, in some cases, I think, even for me, and this is coming from someone who's heterosexual, I wish they would get a little indigenous, you know, make me feel a little bit better, or for protesting, or being a part of that, but I guess this is not a time for that, and also, I, I guess, to wrap this up, since and get on with our little game. I want to say to Fred's family, um, I'm sorry that, and his friends, you know, just take a few moments, say, um, I'm sorry that he's dead. I hope his friends and family are doing well, and I hope nobody comes to protest his funeral. Okay? None of that. Alright? He's dead. He's gone. Just take that high road. If you're not going to take the high road and make a comment or something on Facebook or whatever, and not make a big deal out of it, then please, please, don't protest this funeral, okay? It's not helping nor making you look better, okay? Now, Time for fortune cookies. You scramble. It's this new game I decided to implement because, well, I like fortune cookies and they're awesome. It's probably the one thing from the 1980s that they still make without, you know, any uh, unhealthy results. If you get what I mean. Now, the point of this game is I shake this baby up until I think, for the most part, everything is shooken. 
And then I take out a fortune cookie and I show you guys a fortune. Most of the time I like these things. But a lot of times these things tend to be absolutely and completely uh, irrelevant to what's going on in the world. I mean, I love fortune cookies, but my god, these things love to make um, people from like every uh, of this culture that does like them. Asian culture seems unreasonable. And as I sit here and discuss it, I'm going to drink it with tea. I'm going to eat it with tea. Hey, it's the best part of the whole thing. Hey, mofos. Yeah, Lion King. Hey. No. Yeah. Before I read it, I'm going to eat it first. Yeah. Eat it. Enjoy. Computer loves screwing up. Coming up on me, especially when my cat is laying there. Hmm. Huh. Well, yeah, it looks like it's working. Oh well. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Hmm. Now that you sat through that, um, Delicious mess. Here's what the fortune cookies say. Okay. Two things to aim for in life. To get what you want. And to enjoy it. And, uh... So, I guess... In the case of Fred Phelps being dead, um... The aim is to, well, if you want to read it, god damn it, this is stupid thing. I hate lights. Sorry if you can't really see it, I think. But it's, um... Two things to aim for in life. To get what you want, and to enjoy it. Yeah, so to any of you feminists who are anti-anything, like, uh... A girl wearing a slightly lower cut shirt. You are getting away in her of her uh, social freedom, uh, and anyone else. So, uh, anyways, this is the end of this video. Before I say anything else, that's really, really stupid. And this is Pandora, panning.